Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today this is day six of my marathon. Kenny Kinks Marathon for reaching 2K subscribers and I'm having a giveaway. It's still going on. Tomorrow is the last day, day seven of my marathon. So definitely go ahead and enter um, that giveaway before it's over. I'm giving away some hair products. So today's video, I'm hyped. Y'all see my hair is looking hella good. Let's be honest. We out here. Shop. My hair is looking good, okay? Can't nobody tell me it's not, okay? Let me tell y'all, my hair is looking good. This video is going to be very hard because I don't even know what I'm gonna tell y'all in terms of the best product out of the three. Because if you know what you're watching, it's going to be a product comparison, compare and contrast, and demo on my type 4C hair. Let's get it. One of you guys recommended I do this type of video. Shout out to you. Three mousses. I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the Mayel Organics um, Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse, the Main Choice Pink Lemonade and Coconut Super Antioxidant and Texture Beautifier Mousse, and the Eden Body Works Mousse for Hair. <laughs> And this is from their Citrus Fusion line. So I did my hair in three different sections. I used really big rods. I feel like I always see smaller rod sets. I want to try something different, do a bigger rod set. I never rod set my hair. Y'all know I'm twist out, braid out queen. Nathan else, to be honest. So I bought these huge black rods from the beauty supply store. Bigger rods are hard. I mean, my hair is long. I cannot imagine if my hair were shorter because it would have taken so much out of me to lipstick on my teeth. Are you joking? Are you joking? I seem to always have lipstick on my freaking teeth. All right, I'm not gonna re-record that. I'm not gonna go back and do this all over again. Like I'm extra hype right now, so we're gonna keep on going. Don't come for me and my lipstick teeth. It should be all gone now. Big rods and I use like 25, 24, 25 rods to get this look. I love everything. I love my whole head. I definitely, like my hair is soft on both sides. I mean like, watch the video. We'll come back, we'll come on back after you watch the video and we'll get into um, the, the favorites, pros and cons and whatnot. Don't come from my technique. Don't come from my inability to rod my hair. Rotting is not my thing. Kudos to y'all people that rod your hair. This is not for me. This is just, I'm looking cute though. It's looking real cute. Like it was annoying as hell to do, but it's looking real cute. All right, all right, I'm off, I'm off it. Okay guys, so my hair has leave-in conditioner all over it and I put it into three different sections, the front section and the two back sections. I went ahead and applied the main choice mousse to the front of my hair and I'm braiding the roots down because my hair is way too thick and it was just, the roots were just not smoothing down and it was not stretched as you can tell. So I did about two inches of a braid and then brushed out my ends again and applied the roller. This application was not as smooth as the rest because my hair was not as wet as it should have been. Trial and error, right? I should have applied some more mousse. What I will say is that this mousse left my fingers really, really sticky, but the hair was not sticky and did not have any residue once it dried. I also sat under the dryer for about an hour and a half the next day, and I obviously slept in these rollers that night, and it was completely dry, did not have any wet sections. I'm now applying the Mayel Organics mousse which was a much cleaner application. My hair was, my hands were not sticky at all but my hair was super soft and super shiny with this mousse. I have to say this mousse left my hair the shiniest. Um, although all of them were pretty good, I think Mayel is my favorite after the fact thinking about it. Same thing, braided the roots down. You can tell that I put more product and my ends were smoother. The hair was smoother going onto the roller. And yeah, just same thing. 
rolled it on up and the next product i'll be using is the eden body Works smooth this smooth was like messy it was so liquidy and i'm not sure why but it got the job done and the extra liquid definitely helped smooth down my ends which i realized was really important in getting that nice clean roll nothing different here braided my roots down a couple inches and then i rolled the ends this was probably my least favorite it had the least amount of hold um, but my hair was super soft for some reason my hair was soft with all of these like really really soft i do live in miami and i went outside and my hair did frizz up completely the same day <laughs> Okay guys, so after you guys watched me do my hair <laughs> and leave any comments of tips and tricks on how to rod because your girl is a struggle. I was struggling, struggling. So what we're gonna do now, what's my favorite? I don't know. I'm leaning toward, like how my hair feels on both sides. I'm leaning towards my first favorite being Mayel because you kind of can see these curls over here are a little bit more shrunken, a little bit more tighter um, than the Eden Body Works side. I feel like the Mayel side held up a lot better. I feel like this side is much more curly and it took the definition more. This side is more beachy, more wavy. I love it all. I'm not too strict on how my hair ends up, but for those of you who might be really strict on it, for those of you who care, I definitely feel like um, the Mayel side was is better. So Eden Body Works, my hair is super soft and super, super shiny on all sides, on all three sides, but the Mayel side just seems to be popping a little bit more. But they all are soft but then they're all shiny but this just seems to have held up a little bit better with the rollers and then so yeah my L, I think I'm gonna go for number one with my L. the front section of my hair I used the main choice as you guys saw um, the front section is a little bit poofy I feel like it's because I didn't rod the hair on soaking wet hair in the front the back sections were a lot um, I used a lot more mousse and they had some more moisture they were a little bit more wet than the backs than the front side so maybe the front just didn't get its justice because I didn't put a lot of product there but the parts like right here I used main choice and you can see the shine and the definition all through right here this is all main choice and it's popping it's popping um, just these two like these two rolls right here were a little bit poofy um, yeah it's popping it's popping Mayel's first, main choice second, Eating Body Works third. I want to talk some shit right now, but honestly, all of these products were really good. Um, I can tell that if I was someone that rotted my hair a lot, I would enjoy to rot with these products. Um, my hair is really soft, like, and it has so much body, so much movement. I mean, type 4 hair, body is like inevitable. You're going to have body. But so much freaking movement like i really just can't even like i'm getting i'm getting all of my life through this rod set right now i'll probably try some small rods but if i'm ever feeling in the mood to do my hair for 10 years which i probably never will be but if i ever feel in the mood to do my head for 10 years i might get some smaller rods and try out a smaller rod set but i felt like you guys should see something different youtubers always have little orange rod little purple rod so i was like yo let me give him some beach weight. Let me give him some, some, some big round curls. But yeah, that's all. That's all. That's all. I'm off it. Enter the giveaway. Try and win some products. Leave a comment on this video. Let me know how I did my first time doing a real rod set in I don't know how long. Probably ever. Yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.